Okay, while I'm snuggling here in my husband's little uh, <laughs> sweat jacket or whatever you call this thing, this is what I wear all the time in the winter time. What can I say? It's, I'm sentimental. It's Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And this is coming to my mind, and I just feel like somebody needs to hear it. Now, I am not a, um, a paid vocalist, so just deal with the imperfections and hear the words. I'm not trying to impress anybody, trust me. I don't have anything to impress with. So listen to these words. This is what God used to calm me down when I was first saved back in 1981. And I was ready to get off into somebody's behind. Might have been 82. I was ready to get off into somebody's behind about my father. Now listen. I was very protective. I still am. It's just my nature. This is for you. When you're ready to get up in somebody's face. And you're ready to get somebody told. And you're ready to handle it. This is what God said to me, and I say to you, we must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must learn our lessons well. In his timing, he will tell us what to do, where to go, what to say wait on the Lord wait on the Lord wait on the Lord wait I say on the Lord you do not have to be in a hurry, baby. God was not in a hurry when they were waiting for him to come to Lazarus' side. And as God would have it, Jesus took his little sweet time and he moseyed over and by the time he got there, the body had been in a grave four days and was rotting. It was stinking. Dead, oh, dead, deader than dead, baby. Decomposing. Your situation is not decomposing. But this man's body was. And when, when it looked like all hope was lost and Jesus wasn't there for his friend and he was too late, too late. Where the heck were you? We were waiting on you. You're his friend. If you had been here, he would be alive now. And what did Jesus say? I am the resurrection and the life. Lazarus, come forth. That old dead body got up and went forth too now, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Jesus told those men, take his grave clothes off. See, this is the thing about God. When he works on in your behalf, and when you see his handiwork, you're going to realize after the fact, after the tears, after the panic, after the fretting, and you see the answer right before your eyes that you couldn't bring about. You're going to realize that whatever happened doesn't even leave the scent. There is no sign of trauma. Because when God brings forth, he brings forth a new thing. It doesn't come out of the fire smelling like smoke. It doesn't come out of the water catching its breath from drowning. God will bring you out. 
Don't be weary. Don't be dismayed. God's going to wipe all, all your tears away. He knows all your suffering. He knows all the pain. He knows your every weakness. He knows about the strain. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you out. Now, I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what it's all about. But he's bringing you out. I don't have a doubt. Keep patiently waiting. For I know he'll bring you out. Now you've been searching. Searching for an answer. No one knows. No one has anything. <laughs> but God, he has all the answers. He is your answer. Wait on him. He'll get it done. He knows what he's doing. And he knows how to go about getting it done correctly. So that it benefits everyone who trusted in him are you trusting in him when you can't trace his hand what are you doing what are you doing lord what are you doing trust his heart 